I want to give an update on the two offers that I sent out yesterday for two separate buyers and let you guys know that we got one and we lost one. Um, and I think the main difference here and the important thing for people to understand is that who you work with is so important because we got the one due to amazing communication from agent to agent. So I built a relationship with this agent and we went back and forth on price and terms and what we could do, I could do for my buyers so that their offer got accepted. And it was down to the last minute right before he turned in our offer to their sellers. There were 12 other offers. We were in the lead for most of it until two others came in above us. He reached out to me, let me know what was going on. I went back to my buyers and told them, hey, this is where it stands. What do you guys want to do? They made the decision to come up in price and come come with better terms, close sooner. The other one that we didn't get, the listing agent was not communicative, did not want to give me any information about how many offers they had, what they were looking like or anything. So we came in with our buyers as strong as possible at almost their max, but not our best terms. They wanted to extend a little bit. They wanted to have a contingency, but had that agent reached out to me and told me what was going on, I could have taken our offer back to my buyers and said, hey, this is what they have. Do you guys want to change our terms? Do you guys want to close earlier? What can we do to stand out and be the number one offer? But the agent on that side just wouldn't give that communication to me, even after I called multiple times. So we got one for my clients who the communication was super strong and we were there able to get it done. And we missed out on the other one because we just didn't know what was going on. I got an email saying, hey, you didn't get it. That was it. So it's important to work with people who know what's going on in the business and have good communication. Lastly, all in all, the buyers that got their offer accepted, it was really a win-win situation because both parties in a transaction have to win. The seller has to win and the buyer has to win. And the seller won on the first one because they got a great price and great terms because of the communication. And the buyers won because they got the house and they were willing to pay what they paid for for the house. And the other one, you know, I think maybe that those sellers have left some money on the table because they could have come back and we might have come up we might've had better terms. So all in all, it has to work for both parties. And I think who you work with is so important. Communication, relationships, they're all, they all come together to make both sides happy.